Hey guys, today I'd like to show you how to import audio into your Stingray project. And so what I did here was I created a new project based off of the character template. And what I'm going to do is uh, drag and drop sound effects files from my drive into the WISE authoring tool and then make a new event, generate my sound banks, and then uh, play and test the sound inside of Stingray. Now, WISE is an authoring tool that ships automatically by default with uh, Stingray. So to access that tool, you go to Window and then click on WISE Audio. This launches the authoring tool. Once it's up and running, you'll see that, uh, um, uh, and you know what, actually just to touch on real quick, I have probably a slightly different layout than you guys might see. I have two different project explorers. Um, that I like to have open at one time. I have one with events focused and one with audio focused. And you'll see why in just a second why that's like that. So um, what we're going to do right now since this is open is under our audio tab make sure that that's selected and then you can see your actor mixer hierarchy here. What we're going to do is find the files on our drive and uh, I'm going to just make a quick gunshot sound here by taking the sounds themselves and dragging and dropping them right onto the parent folder here. And what we do is this, uh, when we do that, the audio file importer shows up and uh, you can change some settings here within this uh, importer dialog um, by just, you know, let's say we wanted to not place it in the parent, we want to put it in the weapons here. So we can change our mind after we do it. Um, but uh, after you drag and drop it rather. So let's just leave it in the parent click import and there's the uh, sounds that I wanted to import all five of them now the reason why there's five is because I'd like to randomly play them back inside the engine so what we're gonna do is create a new random container take all these sounds and drop them right into that random container um, and what this container will do is randomly play back based on its properties um, each one of these sounds let's rename this real quick here there we go. And now um, we have our random container set up and ready to get fired off by an event. So what we're going to do now is uh, create a brand new event. We'll call this Gunshot. And now you can see why I like my Project Explorer laid out this way. is because when you double click an event, I can easily just drag and drop the sound right from the audio hierarchy into the event itself. It's a very quick workflow, and that's why I like doing that. Um, so now we have an event, and we have the audio dropped into that event. And just to also touch on the events themselves, they can call all kinds of stuff. Basically, any of the functionality with inside of WISE can be called right from an event. So we have that set up. And uh, if you guys, uh, uh, something else, if you guys want, you can just... Uh, click on the help here because WISE is, is actually a very deep product. There's a lot to know and to learn in here. And the way we uh, set up the, um, the layouts with inside of each one of these templates is to try to get you guys to have a, as easy a time getting up and running as possible. So, um, so we're almost done. What we did was we dragged and dropped our sounds, we created an event, and the next thing we need to do in order for Stingray to pick up on our changes is to generate our sound banks. And the sound banks, um, by default, have all of the uh, um, events already associated with them, provided you make the events with inside of each one of these folders, which we did, sound effects gunshot. It'll show up um, as the entire folders associated with this sound bank. So all the folders are in there. All we need to do is generate. So there it goes. Um, so, so the the, um, the loop is basically in the in the designer tab. You drag and drop your audio into your hierarchy, create an event, right? Associate the sound to that event, and then go back over here to your sound banks and generate all those events. Mm -hmm. There it goes again. Um, you want to make sure that every single one of your sound banks are checked. You can have multiple sound banks so you can load things in and out of your game at different times and whatever platform you're generating to. Um, so let's go over here to our Stingray editor and check on our sound banks. The sound banks show up in here underneath content and audio. Let's hit F5 real quick just to refresh. 
we'll click on this uh, the default sound bank here and you can see that it's uh, underneath this property editor you can see all the sounds that uh, are associated with that sound bank you can actually test them in here too just by clicking the play button so that's how you do it that's how you uh, bring audio into your stingray project